lift your voice and say, Where will I be? Amazing Where will I be? Where will I be? If you didn't die for my sins. 
somebody bless the Lord, lift up a voice. Wherever you are, glorify him, bless him, give him praise, worship him, exalt him, magnify him, give him all the glory. Wherever you are, give him all the praise, give him all the honor, give him all the worship, lift the name of our Lord. Wherever you are, lift up a voice. You are welcome to the morning rain. I want to welcome you to the platform. Lift up a voice of praise, a voice of glory, a voice of worship in the mighty name of Jesus. Roba Banta, you are welcome to the altar of fire, the house of testimony, the warehouse of testimony. This this is this is a grace of God. Bakua Kataya. Regards Kelegonto Kosipa. Mishke Pradika Sitala Afko Bradia. Somebody give God praise. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. Worship his holy name. Lift up a voice wherever you are. Glorify him yet for another day. Glorify him yet for another time. Glorify Glorify him yet for another season. Glorify him yet for another time. Mizeve Venegazia tu Shababanta Regaskele Gonto Mozobro Goshe Reketeke Zita Kasaka. Mozobro Gosa Raba. I can hear somebody lift up a voice. Morocco Zobro Gonto Kosipe. Minta Vavana Gazaya. Bio no Danyan Kopuansi Yene Kesia. Pijana no Pai Baguo. Zobro Gonto Kosipe. Mishke Predika Sika Brogonto Kosipa. Mishke Predia Zenta Kazika Brogonto Kosipa. Somebody share the link and get the link to everybody. Monto Kosipa. Mishke Predia Kazako Brogonto Kosipa. Sheke Predia Rekaska Taka. Zababonto. Kosipe, Mishke Predika, Sinta Kazika, Brogonto, Mozobro, Gose, Reketeke, Zianta, somebody lift up a voice, Rigaskele Gose, Rababanta, Gaziga, Rakaskele Gose, Ribabonto, Kosobro, Gose, lift up a voice, and somebody bless the Lord, lift up a voice and glorify Him, lift up a voice and magnify Him, lift up a voice and worship Him, lift up a voice, Rigazia, Takadaso, Monto Kosipe, Mishke Predia, Kazako, Somebody give God praise, give God glory, give Him honor, give Him worship, give Him exaltation, give Him all the praise, give Him the appreciation, give Him all the honor. Minta Gaziga, Rogonto Kosobro Gosa. Somebody welcome to the page. You are welcome. 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 Somebody in the Masaka Bragua Kutaka, Riba Dies Fredika, Zababonto Kosipa, Mishke Predia Kasaka, Ragaske Legos, Robabonto Kosipa. Mishke Predia, Regaske Legos, Roba Bonto Cosipa, Mishke Predica, Ragaske Legos, Roba Bonto Cosipa, Mishke Predeca, Sita Kazako, Zobro Gose, Reketika, Zibra Asko, Moshama Manta, Ragaske Legos, Repeteke Zia, Rinos Amamanta, Ragaske Legos, Roba Bonto Cosipa, Mishke Predia, Ragaske Legos, Robo, Monto Cosipa, Mashka Papanta, Gazika Bagaska, somebody lift up a voice and call. On God, lift up a voice and talk to God. Lift up a voice. Irigazia takaziga musoko brogonto kosipes ragas kataya. You are welcome. Somebody share the link. Invite somebody right now. Kazia ragas kele goes roba bonto kosipa aske predia. Meske Pradia, Zababonto Kozipa, Kiske Pradia, lift up a voice and bless God, give him praise, give him glory, wherever you are, I want you to give God the worship, give God the praise, give God the honor, give God the honor, give God the worship, give God the praise, give God the honor, Makua, Zubro Gonto Kozipra, Efkesketele, Rigaskele Gonto Kozipra, Aske Pradia, Ragaskele Gonto Kozipra, Miske Pradika, Sika Brogonto Kozipra, Eske Pradia, Regas. Askele gonto kosipa, miske predika, sika brogonto kosipa, aske predia, ragaskele gose, robo bonto kosipa, miske fradika, sika brogonto kosipa, ashaka babana gazia, ragua to kosipa, eyaka fradia, you are welcome, you are welcome, you are welcome, please, you are welcome, online, share the link, share the link, just invite somebody, you are welcome, lift up a voice, we are blessing God, we are thanking God, we are magnifying him, we are giving him all the glory and the praise, in the bagua kosipa, Toko zipe, sobro fene eske predike site gazia, ragaske le gom toko zipe, miske pradia kazike frakua kutoko zipe, zabradika sin takaziga, ragua kutoko sobro gose reketeke, somebody lift up a voice and give him praise, ragaske le gose rababanta, miske fredeke site kazike, musobro gom toko zipe, miske pradia kazaka brogom toko zipe, ragaske le gose ribabom toko zipe, miske 
Mishke fradia kasaka bagua kutoko sipa. Mishke predika ragas kele gonto kusipa. Mashke predeke sike le gonto kusipa. Radika sika bagaska. Ragas kele gose. Robo bonto kusipa. Mishke fradia kazaka bagua kutoko sipa. Mishke predia kazai. Ragas kele gose. Robo bonto kusipa. Mishke fradika sika brogonto kusipa. Mishke fradika saka bagua kutoko sipa. Mashke fradia kasaka bagua. Ragas kele gonto. Mosheke bebente ke fiko brogonto. Somebody lift up a voice and then bless God. He agazia tagaziga. Ragua kutoko se predike fe kabradia kazakas. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You are welcome to the morning rain and I want you to share the link and invite somebody. But this is what we, we, we want to see this morning. We, 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 we are thanking God. We are thanking God. And when we come to a place of thanking and appreciating God, I want you to stay your faith. You see, God, God, if we look at the God realm and who he is and what he represents, God delight to be lived in. You see, the Bible says that it is, it is the better that bless the lesser. That means the person who is higher is the one that blesses the lesser. I mean, there is nothing we can just give to God. He just wants to feel God in our life. You see, he, he, he wants to feel God in our life. There is nothing we can give to God that can make him more God. He only wants to be believed. You see, the happiness of God and the excitement of God is to be believed. Because there is nothing God cannot do and would not do and has possibly not done. But his delight is when people begin to believe him. You see, that's what Smith Wigginsworth said, that God wants to work in the life of people so much that he made the condition so simple. Only believe. Not many conditions. Not hard condition. Not something that is difficult to be attained. It is easy for children to get. Easy for adults to get. Easy for everybody to get. Only believe. So God desperately wants to work in the life of people. He made the condition simple. Only believe. You see, so God delight is not only just the prayer we pray to him. God delight is when he felt like he is the only source. And he is being made God in the life of people. Like God has taken his real place in the life of people. When God assumed his real place in the life of people, he felt like he is God. He wants to feel God. The other instructions God gives to us, whether to walk holy, whether to pray, whether to fast, all the word of God that comes to us in any area of life, it's not just to restrict us, it's just for him to feel God. And to be honored. He said, he that honor me, I would honor him. And he that lightly esteem him, he will be disdained. So what are, we, what are we looking for? We are looking to make God God. And one of the principal means of making him God is when praises and thanksgiving is given to him. You see, anything that is valued is worshipped. Anything that is valued is worshipped. Thanksgiving is really exciting to God. And so the people that thank God, they praise God, they exalt God, they are really making him who he is. They are really making him who he is. Because your thanksgiving actually position me in the place. Your worship and praise position me in the place who he is of honor. I want you to go one more time. Lift up a voice wherever you are. And you want to just appreciate him. You want to bless him. You want to glorify him. You want to honor him. You want to appreciate him. You want to glorify him. You want to bless him one more time. You want to appreciate God one more time. You want to give him all the honor. You want to give him all the praise. One more time you want to exalt him. Lift up a voice wherever you are and give him all the praise. Give him the glory one more time. Exalt his holy name. Makaski. Give him all the worship one more time. Bezeke. Rigaski. Nigoto. Kozipa. Mishke. 
predika sika brogoto kusipe meshke predika sika brogoto kusipa mashaka babanta regaske legoto kusipe meshke predika sika brogoto kusipa meshke predia kazako brogoto kusipe meshke predia kazaka ragaske legoto kuso brogose reketeke zi brogoto kusipa meshke predika sika brogoto kusipa meshke predia zanakaske predeke sika legoto kusipa mashka predia kazaka ragaske legose ramba du kosi predike pe kasti palo rogoto kosi pe meshke predika sika brogoto kosi pa meshke predike kazaka ragaske legose ropo boto kosi pa meshke predike kazaka ragaske legose ropo boto kosi pe meshke predike kazaka ragaske legoto kosi brogose reke teke zika raba boto kosi pe meshke predike kazaka bagu akuto kosi predike ragaske legoto kosi pa meshke predike kazaka bagu Kutokus rababanta maske fredika sike bagoto kusipa mashaka babanta ragaske legos rebedika sinta kazika bagos regaske legonto mozobro gos repete ke fiko bogonto kusipa mashka pradia zababonto kusobro gos repete ke zike mozobro gonto kusipa mashke pradia kazaka ragaske legonto kusipa mishke pradika sika bagu akuto kusipa mashke pradia ragaske legonto kusopo mosheke pradika sika brogonto kusipa banta kazika ragaske legos robobonto kusipa mishke pradika sika brogonto Tokosipa Banta Gaziga, we give God praise, we give God glory, we give Him honor, we worship Him, we bless Him, we exalt Him, we give Him all the praise, we give Him all the glory, we give Him all the honor. Bataka Zibe, Miske Predika Sika Brogoto Kosipa, Miske Predika Sika Ragaske Legoto Kosipa, Miske Fredia Regaske Legos Robo Bonto Kosipa, Miske Predika Sika Brogoto Kosipa, Miske Predika Sika Brogoto Kosipa, Miske Predika Sika Brogoto Gonto kusipa, miske predika, ragaske le gose rapa panto kusipe, miske fredika sika brogonto kusipa, miske predia zaba bonto kusipe, miske fredika sika bagu akuto kusipe, miske predika sika brogonto kusipa, miske predik zako brogonto kusipe, miske predika sika brogonto kusipa, maske predika sata. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, the glory of God is already here. The presence of God is already here, and the glory of God is already here. I know this mo- I know this morning it shall be a great encounter for somebody. We are about to zoom into prayers. We are about to go into prayer. But Father, we thank you. We are grateful. We exalt you. We appreciate you. We honor thee, my goodness. Father, we thank you. We g- give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We worship you. We give you all the glory and all the honor and the praise to you alone be all the worship in the mighty name of jesus if you are welcome please you are welcome i want you to share the link and get somebody to be part of the meeting today and i believe that is going to be amazing it's going to be a great encounter it's going to be supernatural and it's going to be a blessing what a blessing to be here and to interact with god and to pray and to and to have fellowship with god and i believe that somebody's destiny will never be the same somebody's life will never be the same your visitation and the and and what you have been looking for will be this season the times you have been talking to god the era you wanted to see god will be tonight this morning and i decree and declare in the name of jesus as you stay online your spiritual eye would open for divine encounter in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth praise the lord glory to god please share the link and get somebody to be part of the meeting the, 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 what, this week we are looking at we are looking at manifestation my time time of manifestation and it will be your time of manifestation this week in the name of jesus but the only thing i want you to see i want you to see before we start the prayer is that i want you to see the difference between the earth realm and the spirit realm one of the difference you see when we say something is eternal, eternal, it means that the thing had been built without expiring date. And the laws in that realm does not make the thing irrelevant or expire. Let's say you have cooked a food. Because even if the food itself will not spoil, 
the environment has a lot of bacteria, and those bacteria themselves can enter into the thing and cause the thing to expire. It will destroy it. So there are things that even if their expiring date is long, the environment itself is not conducive to preserve them. So the spirit realm has a different law, a different atmosphere, and then the earth realm or the physical realm had a different atmosphere and a different, a different sphere of laws that control things. In this earth realm, things have been programmed to die because of the fall of Adam. When Adam sinned, death was passed. And once death was passed upon the earth, everything under this earth goes to a point of decay, extinction, a point of death. Everything moves from strength and it goes to a point of death. A person would be born looking nice, intelligent, it is already raining this morning. Please just share the link. A person would be born looking nice by 30, 40, 45, 50. By the time the person is getting to 70, 80, 85, 90, the same person gradually, gradually the thing is going down to die. So trees, businesses, things do naturally grow except that they obey laws. They obey laws and rules and principles. So one of the things that distinguish the earth realm from the spirit realm is death. Is death. Is decay. Is corruption. Anything that is in the spirit does not die because the atmosphere doesn't have night and day. And the roots in that atmosphere does not destroy the things that are there so when things are in the spirit realm they last they are just there why because the atmosphere had not been programmed to gradually destroy the thing that is there somebody say death so if death is the main reason is one of the main thing that distinguish that is why when we say god is ancient when we say God is ancient, it doesn't mean God is old. Ancient does not mean he's old. It means that he had been ever existing. Ever existing does not mean he's growing old. Ancient means that the man is of, 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 of old. It's like he has been ever existing. He's been ever existing. And the wisdom that he ever had is because he had... He is the originator of all things. So when we talk about ancient, we are not talking about old. Things in the spirit are never old. They don't expire. Because in the, in the spirit realm, we don't even have day and night. So we don't say this person has been in the spirit realm for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. On the earth realm, we can count 100 years. But in the spirit realm, you can't even count the years. That is why the Bible says that a day can be like a thousand, and thousand years can be like a day. Thousand years can be like a day in the sight of God. In the sight of God, because there is no day, there is no night. A thousand years can be like a day before him, because there is no sleeping and waking. There is always a constant flow of life in that atmosphere. So in the spirit realm, in the spirit realm, anything that God does is permanent and it is for people and anything connected to people destiny it doesn't get lost as long as it in their spirit so something God can't something God had determined to do maybe 40 years ago might not have been done it is so in their spirit waiting for somebody to fulfill that agenda and somebody can wake up in this our generation and say something God is about to do 200 years ago the person would travel into the spirit and go ahead 200 years to come and the person will receive that thing and manifest it in his generation so in manifesting spiritual things it is not the time it is how deep you go in the spirit 
are we together here? Manifesting spirit, manifesting spiritual thing. It is not how it's not how time expire. It is how deep you stretch your faith in the spirit. Glory to God. In the realms of the spirit, things don't get lost, and I want you to understand it. It doesn't spoil. You see, in in the book of Matthew chapter six, the verse nineteen. Are, are, are we are we together? In the, Please, if you've come, just share the link. I want you to understand what we are sharing. In the book of Matthew chapter 9, the verse 19, Jesus was saying that, don't store your treasure on the earth where thieves and the moth can destroy it, but rather store your treasure in the heavens where men cannot break in. Thieves does not get there and it does not also corrupt, which means that the earth has treasure but the treasure is subject to decay. But the heavens, anything that enter into the heavens, the spirit realm, it is located, secured, preserved, because it, the laws there does not cause it to change. That is why I know that whatever God had determined to do with you, with your great-great-grandparent, by the activity of faith, somebody will receive that anointing and you will cause it to be done. There is going to be manifestation. There is going to be there is going to be a release. There is going to be manifestations in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, in First Timothy chapter six, when you read the verse seventeen, glory to God. I see somebody tapping into power. Somebody tapping into glory. Somebody tapping into the power and the spirit of God. Something would break out in your destiny. Something will be released upon your destiny by the power of the Holy Ghost. Before we zoom into prayer, I want your spirit man to open. Whilst you listen and open your spirit to catch the revelation I want to put across today. And as you catch that revelation, things will begin to move up. My goodness. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Are we, are we, together, to, are we together this morning? You see, so in the spirit realm, in the spirit realm, things does not change. So Paul, in First Timothy chapter 6, the verse 17, Paul speaking, he said, charge the people that are rich in this world not to trust in uncertain riches. That means riches that is not certain. Riches that is not secured. Wealth that doesn't have real guarantee. But in the living God, so tell them not to trust in their money, not to trust in their riches, but to trust in the living God. Who give it liberally or give it richly all things so that men can enjoy? So God gives things liberally and freely for men's enjoyment. God gives and may you receive the abundance of God so that you would enjoy the destiny that God had given to you. He said, Tell them to trust in the living God, rather, who give it to all men riches so that they would enjoy so charge the people one rather that they would do good willing to communicate that they would rather be doing good um, having the willingness to give what they have so that they will lay for themselves treasures that is in heaven or treasures against the day to come so once they lay at they give they are rather laying treasures in the spirit. And so when they lay treasure in the spirit, that treasure is permanently secured. So spiritual, in, in other words, spiritual blessings or spiritual things that have been procured are secured. It doesn't expire. It doesn't lose value. It is already secured. Spiritual things that have been dropped there, whether it's a gift, it's an anointing, it's a destiny, it's a thing, whatever that is connected to your destiny, you can actually leave and not fulfill it on the day yet. You will still go to heaven and see that the thing was not destroyed. It was part of your calling. That is why sometimes something that somebody's parents were supposed to do, they didn't do. God gave the other person grace to also accomplish it. Why? Because that thing had been subscribed to that that genealogy and that family for it to be done but nobody had ever come to complete or accomplish it the purposes of god does not get destroyed let nobody tell you that your destiny is finished 
Let nobody tell you your purpose has already been eradicated. Don't let anybody tell you. Don't let anybody tell you that you have missed your time. You have missed your season. Yes, it can be on the earth. It can be on the paradigm of the earth. You miss that thing when you are supposed to do it at some stage. But somebody will rise up by faith. Somebody will rise up by faith to, to this morning. As we are about to zoom into prayer, like Caleb. Somebody is about to rise up by faith like Caleb. And said, the prophecy over my head 40 years ago. The prophecy over my head 40 years ago. That God said he's giving me this land. I am now 80 years. But Joshua, give me that property. Give me that property. Give me that property. Give me proper. Give me that property. I am so strong and energetic. And I want to push and fulfill this. Listen, once you have strength, you have this energy. I want you to push deeper into the realms of the spirit. Because what is connected to your destiny is crying, willing for you to tap into it. What is yours? What is yours in the spirit is crying for you to tap into it. What is connected to your destiny in the realms of the spirit is crying, waiting for you to tap into it. My goodness. So whenever there is no, there is no manifestation of spiritual things, the blame actually is not in heaven. The blame is actually the earth response and the activity and the spiritual tenacity of the people that lived in that era. So you could see that a whole generation can miss God. People can miss the betterment of God. Not because God had not done it, but because the earth did not manifest what God had already done in the spirit. The earth chose to neglect what God wanted to do with them. So you can see a generation, the power of God is not felt. The glory of God is not seen. It is not actually God decided it so. It's because the people did not push deeper into the realm of the supernatural where things have been made available for them. So I want you to understand. I want you to understand. I want you to understand. So in the spirit realm, you can tap into anything. That is why when Paul began to speak some of his revelations, it gave us a deeper thought of who God is and what the realm of the spirit is. I see somebody tapping into something. I see something. I see an anointing coming upon you to walk in that which God promised you. The, the prophetic word that came to you. The word of God that came to you. I see somebody receiving grace to walk into your prophetic destiny. I see somebody being revived, being restored. And the glory of God coming upon you. Somebody, it is raining. Just share the link. Just share the link. The grace of God is upon you. Share the link. Get somebody. Put it on your status. Get somebody to be part as we are about to zoom into prayer my goodness you see by Paul's revelation we understand that 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 manifestation of things on the earth in time does not necessarily mean that the thing the thing had not existed in the spirit before the Bible say that the Bible say the lamp of God who was sacrificed before the foundations of the earth. So before the foundations of the earth in the realms of the spirit, the blood had already been secured. So when Moses, when Moses was doing the type, Moses built the tabernacle and was doing the type of killing, he has already seen that the lamp of God in the realms of the spirit is the answer to human problem. So the lamp of God was killed before the foundations of the earth. Everything about your destiny was already procured before you came to the earth. Anything connected to your liberty, your breakthrough, your upliftment and increase was secured in the spirit before you came to the earth. God did not bring you to the earth and now scratching his head whether to open the gate, to supply, to bless you or to procure for you. God already secured everything connected to you before. Paul speaking, Paul speaking, in Ephesians chapter 1, the verse 3, he said, Blessed be God, the Father. We thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessing in heavenly places. So every spiritual blessing that is required for a man to live on the earth, God bless us in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And the Bible says that he chose us in him before the foundations of the earth. To be holy without blame before him in love. So everything to live holy, to live powerful, to rise up 
was procured in Christ before you ever happened on the surface of the earth. Your born again is not an accident. It is an indication that everything had already been secured, procured, and secured for your destiny. So every inheritance, spiritual blessing required for the triumph of the believer had already been secured. There is nothing about his destiny that is not secured in the heavens. Everything is already procured. Now, so when the person comes to the earth, the only challenge is now what is in the spirit must manifest on the earth. That is a responsibility of the person that came to the earth. By faith, unleash the floodgate of the heavens so that what God had said and what God had determined would come to pass. Ladies and gentlemen, what God wanted to do with people in our generation, what God had even prophesied to your great, great parent, whatever God did in your genealogy that had not come to pass, I decree and declare, somebody will rise up in our generation and will be a repairer of the waste bridges. You will be a restorer of the grace of God. Through you, the gospel will be preached. Through you, the name of Jesus will be glorified. Through you, another, another story will be told concerning the family. The anointing of God will come upon you that through you the power of God will be seen in a generation and I know many would be born again many will receive the gospel because of the manifestation that will take place in your life in the mighty name of Jesus somebody share the link share the link share the link are you ready to pray are you ready to pray so I want you to catch this revelation inside knowing that the spirit life the spirit realm is different from the earth realm and whatever you are doing right now you want to manifest whatever that has been procured in the spirit already for you so your prayer your fasting your things is not actually to change god it is rather to open you up so that the things of god that god you you become a channel for the manifestations of what god had decided to do with your destiny because everything that you need had already been secured your bank has been credited your, 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 your bank in the spirit had already been credited. It is left with the redrawer on the earth so that those credit, those, those resources would be spent under the earth. It will be spent. When you read, when you read uh, First Peter chapter 1, the verse 3, he said, he said, he said, he said, thanks be unto God who has begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. So men have been gotten the hope because Jesus arose from the dead. My goodness, what a great news to hear that Jesus arose from the dead. And now he said, and 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 because he rose from the dead, and God has begotten us into this livelihood, we are now being given an inheritance. Inheritance. Because we are now children of God. We have been given inheritance. He said reserve in heaven for us so there's what we call the reserve account if you go to every country hallelujah if you go to every country they have bank reserve which means that all the money the country is supposed to send there is a central bank from there they redraw the money and spend in the nation so there is what we call bank reserve everything you need under this earth even if you have spent it in Christ, it is called reserved. So there is so much a reserve in the spirit that every believer can tap into it and redraw as long as his faith is ready. As long as the person's faith, they cannot be exhaustion of the healing power of Christ. You cannot. As long as you want to redraw, that account is reserved. There is no limit to the power that breaks barrenness. Children are in much supply in the spirit and they cannot be exhausted. The destiny God had given to you and the calling and the prophetic word, it cannot be exhausted because in the realms of the spirit, things don't depreciate. We only spend them on the earth. We only spend them on the earth. So whenever your faith comes alive, you tap into something supernatural. My goodness. One day, a man of God a man of God, a man of God entered, got the vision of the spirit realm. And then he was walking with an angel. And the angel showed him, he said, when you were 12, when you were 20 years ago, you see this blessing that is here in the spirit was for you. He said, 
Heaven was waiting for you to tap into it. Heaven was waiting for you to obey some of the things we told you so that you could have tapped into it, but you missed this one. He said, what? He said, when you were 30 years ago, this was supposed to be, because 20 years you would have made impact around the world. You could have entered into, but you didn't tap into this treasure in the spirit dimension. So, that, but when you were 30 years ago, this thing was also for you. But you didn't tap into it. He said, now you are 40-something. And this is what is for you at the current day. Because, and what God is waiting for you is to just do what he has told you. And you will tap into this mirror. This. He said, so if I tap into it, he said, if you tap into this, if you are able to tap into this blessing, it will be like all the things you lost had now been restored. Is that if you are able to tap into this blessing, it you would be so impactful, it will look like all the things that you lost had now been restored back to you. My goodness. Montoko Rabadaya. Listen, God is like the, the father of the prodigal son. When that child returned, after spending the resource, he came. Not The father had not lost. The father gave him a portion. But the father stood, restored that guy to a place. A place of restoration. I want somebody to understand something. I want your faith to be stirred in Christ. The spirit realm is waiting for you to activate your faith. You have not failed. You have not gone down the heavens. God is waiting for you to return with your faith and you will tap into things and manifest them that the world will be afraid of who you will become in the next phase of your destiny. I want somebody to rise up radically in faith. Do what God is telling you to do. Enter into what God wants you to enter into and break the siege of the control of the heaven, of the earth over you, and tap into the supernatural. He that had entered into the spirit has escaped the laws of the earth. He that entered into the dimensions of the spirit has escaped the rules of the earth. Mantoko Kataya. And I see the person living, somebody, I see somebody living the heavenly life whilst the person is on earth. Heaven on earth would be your testimony. Your case is not like the case of the people of the earth. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your case is not like the case of the people of the earth. Your case is different. Your, 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 your seasons are different. So I want you to understand. Delayer or denier is not a thing in the spirit. Because spirit do things when the atmosphere allows them to do it on the earth now glory to god are, are we together when you read when you read galatians chapter 4 galatians chapter 4 paul speaking some mystery said the air that means the person that is with the, within the lineage of rulership the person with the royal blood the person that is that 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 has the throne to sit on the heir that is the bible say as long as he is a child as long as the heir is a child he's not different from a slave glory to god something is happening and the anointing is coming upon you by the power of the holy ghost so the heir as long as he remained a child he's not different from a servant so there are some people that had carried the gene of god believed in christ their sins have been forgiven walk holy pure righteous their journey on the earth the air that had been imparted by the holy spirit qualified to rule as long as not when so the 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 days of being under control the days of being not able to take dominion is not subject to time it is subject to as long as so that the air as long as he's a child not two years, not three years. It's not different from a slave, though he is a lord. So the person was supposed to take dominion, but the length 
the length of his servanthood will be determined by how much he break it. The Bible says that as long as the child differs from not from a servant, though he is the Lord of all, but is given unto tutors and governors until the time appointed by the Father. So is Christ. So Jesus was born in the due time. So the time Jesus was born was not because God prophesied 200 years. The time Jesus was born was because the atmosphere and the prophecy had collided with the heavens. And so the child Jesus needed to be born. Prophecy are not subject to time or date. They are subject to spiritual investment. God told the people of Israel that you are going into captivity for 400 years. God himself said it to Abraham that your people would be in captivity for 400 years. They ended up spending more than 433 years. Why? Because the person, Moses, that God was about to use was not spiritual. When the calling came, he thought of killing the people. But God wanted him to use spiritual power to take dominion over the forces of evil. Not to use physical strength or physical knowledge. God wanted to do the battle on Egypt on spiritual dimension. But the guy's spiritual development was not strong enough. So he started using his physical strength. God brought him back to the wilderness to train him again. Prepare him, mold him spiritually before he sent him back. To go and complete the job so god himself said 400 but the development of the person that is qualified for them delayed that is why that is why when there is delayer the denier we have to push deeper into the spirit and i see somebody what could have been done 30 years you would do it in a year somebody will live a life that 200 years will be compressed by the activity of faith 200 years would be compressed but because of the activity of faith. 200 years would be compressed because of the activity of faith. When your, activity, when your faith comes alive, what people will use 10, 100 years to do, you can do it in a season because the atmosphere is open for you. And I'm seeing people that are into ministry. What should have been done 10 years in ministry would be done in a month. God will send helpers. God will send supply. God will send an anointing. And God will open gate to nations. In the name of Jesus. Destinies would open by God in a season. So if the spirit time and the earth time are not the same. And the spirit realm does not lose things. It is only earth that lose. What am I going to do so that I tap into that which God has spoken concerning me, concerning my family, concerning my destiny, concerning the ministry? How do I tap into it? I see grace coming. I see grace coming. I see grace coming. Is somebody online today? I, I don't know if somebody is online today. How do I tap into that which God has declared? Please share the link. Get somebody to be part of the meeting. It is already raining. This week is the time of manifestation. Time to manifest. Time to manifest. And I see somebody manifesting already. Time manifest. Somebody manifesting already. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the, by the power of the Holy Ghost. 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 Listen to me. It is your time to manifest. And I want you to understand that delayer or denier is not in the spirit. It doesn't happen in the spirit. You see, there is when the, when our Lord, when our Lord work walk upon the earth, when He Himself walk upon the earth, there is something I notice about Him. Nobody came to Him by faith, and He returned the person. In all His ministry, He did not return anybody, and He did not postpone any case. A man in the spirit has the solution for everything that comes already. Jesus, he never postponed any case. He never also, he never also denied whether the people, hallelujah, whether the people were Jew or not the Jew, he was only looking for one thing, the element of their faith. Do you believe that I am able to do this? Son of David, have mercy upon me. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? 
What do you want? According to your faith, be behold. I've not seen such a great faith in Israel. I've not seen such a great act of faith. So everybody that came believed for whatever they came for and they tapped into it exactly as they came. He never denied anybody. And Paul speaking to us that Jesus is the same today. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. So the nature of Christ had not changed. He will not change in our season and time. He will not change because of any circumstance. He will not change because the generation had improved into the 21st century or we are in 2024. He is the same. And so anybody that break into that realm by faith, the person is a carrier of the grace and the carrier of the liberty. Somebody that came to Jesus and the person, even the time for the miracle of the person was not due. The time for the miracle because the person was a Syrophoenician woman. That is, she was, she was not a Jew. And because she was not a Jew, she was not even entitled because Jesus was sent to Jew. After his death, then the Gentiles were allowed because he came to break the middle wall. What is the middle wall of separation? It was the law. The law was given to the Jews. And because of the law, they saw themselves to be serving God. And the other people are Gentiles. Jesus came to break the law. It was the law he came to take it away. Jesus came to take the law away so that God would not be for excluded sect of people, but for all people on the nations of the earth. So until Jesus died and resurrected, that woman had no part in the ministration of Jesus. And so she came to Jesus and Jesus politely said something that is very, if, if you are not somebody who is desperate in faith, you would be hurt. Jesus said, he, what you are looking for is a bread we give to children. And we cannot give it to dogs. Dogs, you know, in Israel, when we talk about dogs, we're talking about people who don't have, don't have covenant with God. Like, they don't have covenant with God. They are not into covenant with God. So we cannot give, what you are asking for, woman, is, is, is children bread. And we cannot give it to outsiders. And the, the term they used for the outsiders at that time were dogs. So he said, please, please, this is, this is exclusive for the children. But the woman said, sir, I understand the terminologies of the law. But if a child eat and something fall on the ground, you cannot stop a dog from eating that thing. You must still give me what is falling down. Though the rules have not permitted... And, 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 and the rules does not allow us to partake. But something must touch me no matter what. The woman, Jesus looked at him, looked at her and said, I have not seen such great faith, not even in Israel. I have not seen such great faith. And Jesus still have to answer because in the realms of the spirit, nobody can be denied. It is your time and if it is your season of manifestation, once your faith aligns, the heavens have to open. How do I open my atmosphere for my manifestation? How do I break the resistance that want to stop my flow, my advancement? How do I tap into the prophetic thing that God has given to me? It is centrally by faith. But faith is not just one thing. Faith is every activity you do because of what God has said. Every activity you embark because God has spoken is an act of faith. Somebody, I see somebody manifest. I don't know if today I don't know if today I'm helping somebody here. I, today I don't know if I'm helping somebody. Whatever activity you undertake, because you you believe God is called faith, and so and so you read the book of Hebrews. You read the book of Hebrews in Hebrew chapter eleven. He said the verse two. He said by it by faith because when you start from the verse 11 uh, the verse 1 he said now faith is the substance of things we hope for the evidence of things not seen he said by it the elders obtain a good report so the elders that means the people that lived before us obtained a good report the report they have on the earth was what god has said concerning them they broke barrenness they broke powers of darkness. They stopped opposition. They carried the gospel to the ends of the earth. They wrapped 
mighty works. He said the elders in their lifetime obtained good report. They broke the power of disease. Walk above what the doctors have said. Some of them broke barrenness. They entered into wealth. Some of them came out of weakness and did valiant things in their destiny. They obtained a good report. But the element of tapping into faith. When you tap into faith, then every report can change. Whatever, whether it is a doctor's report, financial report, it is an academic report, it is monetary report. Report. It is ministry report. It is about your spiritual life. You change the report. Good report. So when we look at your report card living on the earth, we look at your spiritual life. Excellent. We look at your 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 your, your ministry and calling. Excellent. We look at we look at your your determination and commitment to God. Excellent. We look at your health. Excellent. So by it, the elders obtain good report. Is that true? Faith. Are we together? He said, true faith. True faith. True faith. We understand that the world were framed by the word of God. That the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith. Look at what, what is it? By faith, Abel offered a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. So some of us, by faith, we would offer sacrifice that opened atmosphere. Sacrifice that push things. He said, by faith, Abel offered more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he received a witness that he was rich or righteous. God also testifying of his gift. Even though he is dead, yet speaketh. He is speaking, even though he is dead. By faith, Enoch walked with God and was translated, and he was not found. But and 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 before he was translated, he received a witness that he pleased God. He said, For without faith, it is impossible to please him. So, by faith, Enoch was walk with God closely and was not found. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God is a must, must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that truth. That diligently seeking true faith when Noah was warned as of the flood to come, move with fear. So, the fear that he was the fear to obey God, the fear was because of faith. Move with fear, move with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house by which he judged the world, condemned the world in his generation, and became the heir of the righteousness which is by faith. He became the heir of righteousness, which is by faith. By faith. When, when Abraham was, 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 was commanded to, to leave, to receive a land, which he, he hereafter received for a problem, moved. Moving with Isaac and Jacob, who are the heirs of the same promise, dwelling in tents. Dwelling in tents. What am I saying? Every action you do, because you believe the work of Christ, it's a statement of faith. It's a statement of faith. What am I talking about? Every challenge on that this earth has solution in the spirit. Every issue of life has the answer in the spirit. And every destiny has already been written in the spirit. It is our issue is how to make it manifest on the earth. And the more we tap into that realm by faith, disease will disappear. Because there's no sickness in that realm. Poverty will be broken. Hardship will be destroyed. The listener, whatever the curses would be broken. Destinies will be set alive. And I want you to escape deeply into that realm by faith and orchestrate something. Do something in that realm. Glory to God. I'm seeing people, I'm seeing people, listen to me. After this week, manifestation, I, I say this. 15 years will be compressed. People will leave it. Things that doctors have said is impossible would break over people because manifestation must take. The, the spirit realm must take over the earth realm. The spirit realm must take over the earth realm. The power and the anointing will come upon people. What, what men will you 30 years to do in ministry? The anointing will come upon ministry. 
and the manifestation that would come would beat the imaginations of people. We are about to move with the supernatural wave because it's a time to manifest. This week is my time to manifest. It 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 is my time to manifest. In the name of Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, whatever God puts on your heart, share the link. Just whatever God places on your heart, anything that God gives to your heart, anything God lays on your heart, be moved by faith and carry it out. Be moved. Be moved by faith. You will change things and orchestrate things. You'll be surprised. God, whatever God impresses on your heart. Let me, let me put it this way. Be motivated to carry out spiritual things that God places on your heart. And I want you to value them. And value. You know, some people have not been trained to value spiritual things, not to value God. You see, the things of God. Is so precious that God wants you to value them. There are some people, things that are precious because they are ignorant, they lightly esteem it. So, so some people lightly esteem the things of God, they lightly value it. The value they attach when it is God is not valuable. Whenever it is God, you could see that the interest is not much. Because we have lived on the earth, some people are much interested when it comes to when it comes to earthly things. If we were to be a job, they would have been so excited. But if we were to be prayer or a soul winning or something spiritual, the value attached, the, 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 the reward we see attached to it is not strong. Because because if we see that it was a work, we know that maybe 10,000 Ghana CD is attached to that job. So it's like automatically our value would go high for that job. But if we were to be a prayer or a scripture or a quotation or a prophet, because we cannot see the real value attached to what God has said. Because the value attached is not into earthly material things. We don't really see it as valuable. But one instruction from God is more valuable than maybe a monthly salary. It can open your destiny up. So the more you attach value to what God has said, you tap into supernatural release and supernatural things of the spirit. So t t God can be impressed on your heart. Go on three days retreat, prayer and fasting. Go when God begins to implant this, because we don't know the reward attached and what is the benefit. Maybe God has even seen a death attack something on your path god want to generate some atmosphere so that that thing can be broken god wanted to open certain door or he want to even give you certain anointing for the cause but because we cannot really see what is in the spirit sometimes when god speaks to us the value attached to it is so little the value we attach to what god has spoken is so little because spiritual things is not normally seen but you have to start reorienting yourself seeing god as the most important priority in your life and when his word come you know that his word is for now listen you can be employed in a place and it is possible even if you lose that job god can give you even the whole place to rule mataka siatas monto kosietes kabadaya Mesete Matuko si bredia takasika braduko se bredietes Kanamasi Joseph Joseph was in Potiphar's house when he was lied against and he lost that appointment. He didn't know that the whole Egypt was about to come into his hands. God can give you everything. Mataka what, what, what was it not? Was it not Hezekiah? Was it not Hezekiah that joined himself to the king of the Israel? And when he joined himself to the king of the Israel from Judah to go to war, he paid them money for all the army commanders to join him. And when he paid all the army to join him, 
the prophet came and said, don't go with them to battle because God is not with them. God wants you to go alone. Then he asked the prophet, but what about the money I spent in hiring all the people? The prophet said, God is able to give you more than that. If it is God that is speaking, let it go. If, if it is only God, let it go. God is able to give you more than that. There is nothing that if it's truly believing God, you are actually losing. Once we begin to value God, certain things that we think we are losing, they will come cheaply into our hands. Kadabasiata. That wife, that husband, that woman, that, that fiancé, their heart is in the hands of God. And if you want to please God, you want to work with God, God knows how to bring them back. God knows how to bring them back. What am I saying this morning? What I'm saying this morning is that put, place him in the right place. God is not among some of the properties to put it in some side. He wants his first place in every destiny. Put an act by faith. And within a year, we will see the manifestation of God's grace upon the destinies of people. I say we are going to see the manifestations of the hand of God upon people. We are going to see the glory of God upon people. The manifestations of the power of God upon the destinies of people. Mataka ziatas. Sombro fenekeske predike sakata ragaske predie anokoske fredika sataya riga sombro fefetekesia. This week you will benefit. So what am I talking about? Place in your life, please. You have come to the to to the to the testimony to the testimony warehouse. You have come to the altar of fire. It is the morning rain, and every morning it is raining mightily under this platform. When you come, you share the link. You invite somebody to be part of the meeting as we pray. This week, I'm telling you, you are manifesting, and I told you that everything that you are manifesting is not that you are going to create them new from the spirit. It's already. It's already procured in the spirit. Whenever there is a denier, it's just on the earth realm. When, you see, when somebody is born and the person may not have hands or the person may have been, may have problem with walking or somebody's hand is cut off, it doesn't mean that in the realms of the spirit, he doesn't have hands. It just means that the earth incapacitated him so that his spirit cannot express that portion of his body on the earth. But if that person is supposed to enter the spirit realm, his body is still intact. So if somebody had body inhibited on the diet, it is, on, it is only an earthly case, not in the spirit realm. So you are not going to see a cripple in the spirit. Just that the person was inhibited on the earth, he was limited on the earth, because the earth did not form his body in that way that his spirit would want to express it. And you don't want to walk on the earth and not express everything that God has said concerning you in the realms of the spirit. You will be like Jesus. When Jesus can boldly say on the cross, it is finished, not I am finished. I cannot finish, but it can finish. What does it mean it is finished? All that is written concerning me, all that that is put in the volumes of the books concerning me. All the things that have been written in the spirit concerning my destiny, every one of them is finished. None of them is left. Completed, emptied, delivered, package delivered, package manifested, assignment complete, everything manifested. That is what that is who you are. That is what you are going to be. You will talk like Paul. Uh, Paul, Paul, Paul put it in this way. He said, I have fought a good fight. I have kept the faith. And I have finished my course. My course. That course, that word course, which is the dronos, actually is like, in Greek, it's like somebody having been given six years to read medicine and to pass successfully. So, he said, my destiny under this earth, there was a course. There was something written to complete and he said, I fought the fight. I, I became serious with it. I kept the faith of believing in Jesus, his death and the resurrection. 
and the course that means the whole syllabus written about me for completion the syllabus is done i have finished the course kadabahaya i have finished the Paul said i have finished the course that means there is a whole syllabus that is why the bible said and the books were open the books were open books were open books were opened there are so many things that is reserved for every life we want to live in heaven please every denier every area a person is being denied it's not because heaven had denied it's just because we've not broken forth into that realm yet and i don't want you to reject regret sit down quietly and said okay uh, maybe hmm, maybe god doesn't hear me no rise up in faith don't let the thoughts of the enemy bring fear or make you reject pushing you know a lot of times sometimes the enemy want to break our confidence so that we'll become weak he said maybe god is not even hearing me maybe i'm just wasting my time i've said god if god will change my case no rise up seriously rise up seriously rise up seriously and begin to do things you have never done before when the devil begin to throw a lot tell me the devil i'm now going crazy the more because i know the way you are talking means that what i'm doing Kra, it is really having effect in the realms of the spirit i'm going to do more i'm going to get go more crazy i'm going to rather do more in the realms of the spirit i want you to rise up by faith and this year break into the spirit realm by your activities of faith by your activities of faith and your activities of faith is going to be things that god places on your heart the things that god inspire your heart the things that god places on your heart guide them the bible says guide your heart with all diligence for out of it that the temple is your heart out of it are the issues of life the out of it are the issues of life you see the issues of life are from your heart what God wants to use to change your life will be scriptures, things that he placed on your heart. Your heart becomes the altar for directing life. And that is why you have, to be, uh, you have to be in tune with the scriptures so that you know when God is speaking and when the voice of God is directing you. God can speak a word as simple, as simple as anything. And the last time I told you, when it is the word of God, it doesn't matter what form it came. It can come, whether it's a heart, if it is hard, be strong and do it. If it is easy, be strong and do it. Because anytime God speaks, he speaks for your change. If it is hard, be strengthened and do it. If it is easy, strengthen and do it. God can tell you one time to empty all your account. If he has not told you, he will do that sometimes. God can tell you specific hours to be waking up in the night. Don't sleep. For two hours every day, God will be telling this time around. And even angels will wake you up. Those times you want to sleep, you can't sleep. Angels will even wake you up. Because it is within your DNA for your destiny to collide with something. And the angels of God will not let you sleep at certain hours. He will keep you up praying. Pray, and you wonder what are you praying about. Sometimes you don't even know the prayer topic. Sometimes you don't even... You don't even no, the prayer talk, but just that you cannot sleep. You just feel the urge to pray. God is working on you because something about you is about to manifest. It's about to manifest. So God will be instructing you. There are days God will be putting the desire just to go out to preach, to talk to people. God is building a ministry in you. And, and that edge keeps on coming. Go out. Speak to somebody. Talk to some. You see, God is building that great anointing from the gradual start. When God begins to impress things on your heart, your heart to become the altar. God can tell you to do a sacrifice. God can tell you to just to just to just go on some fasting. God can tell you certain specific instruction on the main altar of your heart. And I want you to listen to it. I want you to develop the stamina not to rebel against the inner still voice that bid you what to do in destiny. I, I, I don't know if I'm communicating with somebody today. I don't know if I'm communicating with somebody today. Hallelujah. Don't, don't resist that thing. Don't use only your mind to live. Don't use only your mind to live. Do you know that, do, do you know that when Jesus was walking on the earth, 
Do you know that the scripture did not ask and Jesus taught? And Jesus taught about it. Do you know what? Every time Jesus will do something and say, Jesus perceived. Perceived. You see, to perceive something is different from thinking about it. Jesus perceived. He would, he, would, he would see into the matter. So, Jesus can perceive their thought. Jesus can perceive that this thing will not work. Jesus would perceive. There's an inner witness with Jesus. So, Jesus would always perceive. 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 Don't let the inner witness sometimes confront the thinking. Sometimes your mind will be saying something. But your heart, your heart, your heart will say no. And sometimes somebody will say, I would have listened to my instinct. It was not your, it's your instinct is stronger. Because the Holy Spirit is speaking through your, your mind. And say, go this way. Do it this way. Do it this way. Move it this way. The more you begin to listen to that voice from the heart, you begin to see that life will be easy. You want to lift up a voice. Let me look for a scripture whilst we lift up a voice to pray. Hallelujah. Cobra Theater. In Psalm 16. Let me look for this scripture whilst we pray. Is somebody blessed to be here? It is raining already. I feel the grace of God here. I feel the grace of God here. Kadaba Sahaya. Zibro Gonto Kosibre Setahaya. Oh my goodness. Katakataka. Kazibro Konto Kosibre Detas. Kazibro Kosaba. In, in Psalm 16, the verse 11, please, you're about to pray. Share the link. Something is happening already. Something is ready. We just lift up this voice of prayer. This week is my time to manifest. And I want to let you know, because this teachings is to bring you to a point of faith where you can manifest spiritual things under the earth. You would be able to manifest spiritual things under the earth. In Psalm 16, in the book of Psalm 16, the verse 11, he said, you will show me the path of life. You will show me the path of life. There is a path of life. For thou will show me the path of life. In your presence is a fullness of joy. And at your right hand, there are pleasures forever. You see, the presence of God, in that presence is the fullness of joy. And in the place of his authority, men walk in pleasure forevermore. But what is it? There is a path of life. And you want to activate by the workings of the Holy Spirit. Let that grace to walk in the path of life take over you. Now listen to me. The Bible says there is a way that seemeth right in the sight of God, but the end is death. Let me tell you how life is lived. You see, the human life that you have received, this human life regulates you what do i mean by this human life regulates you this human life will tell you to sleep and you don't have control over it you can resist this you can resist this human life and not sleep for some time but not forever it will tell you that this life has control over your will you can use your mind not to eat for three days or one week but after one week you realize that your mind cannot control that life again you have to eat because that life will not control you so you have received the life of god and the life of god knows where god wants to bring you to when that life is activated in your spirit it brings the desires and the direction into your spirit so now you begin to walk in the path of life the path that leads you to the next phase the path that brings you to the next dimension. The path that brings you to the next realm of what God wants you to do. And so he said, you would lead me on the path of life. In your presence is the fullness of joy. And at thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. When life is activated in your spirit, it controls you. You don't control it. You, see, you can only control the eternal life that you have received to the dimension you allow it to express through your body. The more the Holy Ghost have his way in your life, you'll be controlled. You'll be controlled. Somebody said, I cannot be, you can't be controlled. You see, you can't be controlled by the Spirit of God. 
By the time you realize, God will tell you, go one week fasting, one week fasting, one week dry. The, 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 the way the spirit will now begin to strengthen you to do that, you'll be amazed. Because now the spirit is now taking over. God will tell you, sacrifice this. And all of a sudden, that desire will become so strong. Even your heart does not rest. That thing be panting on your heart until you drop it, then you are free. You see that the life is controlling you to walk on the direction that is given to you. Sometimes you want to sleep even in the night because that is your ordination. Is it that even sleep will disappear? The Spirit of God will take sleep away from you. From that time, you cannot sleep again. You don't understand why. Because the, the life is now operating in you. And life wants to control you to a point. To a point where your destiny can make impact. And your life will be relevant. There is a point you live to that life will regulate you. Like the way the human life will regulate you. So, the spirit life can also regulate you. Thou would show me the path of life. You would show me the path of life. This is the prayer I want us to pray this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. By the working of the spirit of life, let the strength and the way to the next phase of destiny open now. By the working of the spirit of life, let the strength and the way for the next phase of destiny open now. My goodness, is somebody ready to pray that prayer? Our time is up, our time is up. But I want you to express that thing in prayer. Let, you see, once you receive that strength, let the way to the next phase of destiny, let it open now. Let it open now. Let the way to the next phase of my liberty, the next phase of my destiny, I want you to, in this two minutes, I want you to express it as prayer. But the, but the working, but the working, but the working of the life but the working of the spirit of life, but the activity of the spirit of life, let the desire, let the way, let the door, let the let the strength for the next phase of destiny, let it open this morning, in this week of manifestation, in this week of manifestation, my time to manifest, let the way and the door, let the way, for thou would show me the path of life, let, for thou would show me the path of life, for thou would reveal to me the path of life, let the gate, let the door, let let the face, let the way out to the next phase of where I am. By the way of the path of life, I escape wherever I am right now to the next phase of what should be happening in my destiny. For the next phase of what should be taking place in my life, I walk out into that next phase by the revelation, by the strength of the life of life in the mighty name of Jesus, by the working of the spirit of life, the activity of the Holy Ghost, by the empowerment of the spirit, the way to the next phase is already open. We escape the present. We move out into the next phase of destiny. We progress and advance. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Meshene Gazaya. Robodoko Sibredi Kasataya. Rigasefre dike monogos ike predi miske predika sata maske praduko si predika rakaska pradiatas masheke velende rigaduko si predike pepala ragaske legonto kosipe miske predika ragaske pradia masobro gonto kosipe masheke pradia kataya it is raining it is raining a decree and declare. I speak as a servant of God over this, over, over this meeting and I prophesy under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. Every gate and every opening that is required for your escape from where you are to the next agenda or the next time or the next phase of the prophecy on your head or the destiny that God had given to you under this head. Koma fene escape Every gate that need to open any door for that would show me the path of life. I decree and declare right now that gate is open. Every instruction, every strength required for you to walk out of your present to the next story, the next testimony, the next phase, the next assignment of God upon your destiny. I decree and declare this morning that hand comes upon people, that grace comes upon people, that power comes upon people. In the name of Jesus, I forbid your destiny to remain at this spot. I come 
command in the name of he that died and rose again I command in the name of Jesus for you to be locked up in this circumstance for you to be locked up in this case for you to be at this level for you to be in this challenge I forbid it in the name of Jesus and I decree and declare by the authority of the Word of God by the workings of the Holy Ghost let gate open doors open instruction come direction come whatever it takes to walk out of this circumstance I decree it is released right now Baruko Sibre Theater. The power of God comes upon you. The glory of God comes upon you. The hand of God release upon your destiny. Mashambra Dia Kasele Rigodoba Mishke Predik Kakara Katai Ribadus Amaneke Vredia Tataya Mantoko Zipa. You see, destiny, destiny is not supposed to pause here. You are not supposed to pause here. This is not your resting point. This is not just even your bus stop. Riga di ba sombra fike teke. Riga du ko bradie se fredi. Miske pradu ko papala. Ragas ke tele. For that would show me the path of life. Let the path of destiny open. Let the path of life open. Riga du let the path be revealed. Strength is coming upon people. I decree and declare in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody is walking to the next phase of your life. No matter what is the resistance, no matter what is the opposition, no matter what is trying to resist and to stop listening at this point, remain at this place. Tonight or this morning, there is a prophecy coming upon your head. And this prophecy will not fall to the ground. This prophecy will be expressed in the crucible of your destiny, in the very framework of your destiny. This prophecy is coming straight into your life. And I want your heart to open. I decree and declare whatever door that need to open, whatever thing that need to break, whatever thing that need to open up, every direction that need to come, I decree and declare receive the strength to walk out of this situation. Receive the strength to walk out of this place. Receive the strength to break out of this circumstance. Receive the strength to break forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Your destiny will not be dry. Your atmosphere will not be dry. Your atmosphere will not be dry. Your direction will not be at this spot. Your direction will not be at this place. Your destiny will not be stopped. The battle will not be too fierce for you. Come out of that battle. Move to the next phase. I command gates open for you. This morning, the hand of God is released upon your destiny. Mantaka Rabadua Zenemetes Zibrocombra Fatalis Shenemetekesie. Zimbro gonto kozibas radaka sita kasaya Zimbro gonto kosiba sane metakasi atas Glory to God Glory to God <clears throat> Hallelujah let, let me just yesterday I was talking about somebody connecting to this ministry and the person sharing a testimony she did a recording, but because we've done, we are not playing the recording, let me try to read a thing for you. He said, hello, pastor. It is, this is Atta. I wanted to share my testimony. Hallelujah. She came to share a testimony. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Please. Somebody should mute, mute that is, and let me read this testimony. Hallelujah. Is it, I've been struggling with miscarriages, and it will happen almost every time when we pray. Even the times she prayed, that is when the thing would happen. The miscarriages would happen in the times she prays more. But the devil is a liar. And about eight miscarriages so far. I found out. I found out that my service was prolap prolapsed, prolapsed, which meant that I needed a cervical cleavage, cyclage, or a cervical stitch to strengthen the service before giving birth with a pregnancy. This means spending a lot of time at the hospital during pregnancy and not going to work. So it means that the service cannot hold a baby. So it had to be under surgical operation or just sleep. When the pregnancy comes, you will not do anything. Just rest and be there at one spot until you give birth. So when I came to campus, I was so experiencing miscarriages. So I decided by faith to buy a flower and beautify the church auditorium on campus. 
amazingly after buying the flowers four months later i checked and i was pregnant glory to god and during the visit to the hospital the doctor recommended the cyclage but i knew in my heart that this pregnancy was from god and i didn't need the procedure by the grace of god i was able to travel from kumasi to tamale without any complications and since i arrived i've been do, i was i did everything including fetching water without any blood discharge or complications and i want to thank god for this blessing of using you to bless me to bless me and using this ministry to bless me though though you are not physically with us but the anointing has been working for me and to the glory of god i have now delivered a healthy baby without any surgical procedure and naturally and i want to give god for ending miscarriages in my life glory to god glory to god glory to god about eight times miscarriages years of challenge somebody placed her faith to work and glory be to god god bless is that this one i know god did it and i don't need any medical procedure or lie down um, they said that because of the womb she has to be lying there if you get pregnant no go anywhere but god did a miracle after eight, about eight miscarriages this one god did it by faith i know it will be at somebody's time to share the testimony of what god would do and god would perform this week of manifestation i declare your manifestation is released in this week of manifestation you you would manifest this season of manifestation everything that you have been praying about you would hold it in your hands in this week of my time of manifestation the things you have been talking to god about will be tangibly upon your mind i decree and declare the things you've been praying and prophesying you would walk into the substance of it and decree and declare and the word was made substantial every word you have been spoken let it put on flesh let it become a substance in the name of jesus and the word became substance and the word became some i don't know whichever word you have been prophesying i don't know what you have been declaring i don't know what you have been speaking but this week it will become substance you will touch that thing you will hold that thing you will you will you will handle that thing by the power of the holy ghost I decree that grace is already upon you. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. May the grace of God be upon you. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you all the glory. What a blessing to be here this morning. It is raining. This is the testimony warehouse. This is a family God has called to be a blessing to the generation. And I want everybody, when you come on this line, this is an, a testimony warehouse. It is an altar of fire. Please, if you are connected, connect very well. Connect very well. Please don't get, don't get discouraged if you are connected to this platform. Because as we keep on praying, there will always be a time God will visit you. And I want you to be, open your heart by faith and let us connect by power. And I see the grace of God doing signs and wonders. Be blessed everywhere you go. Be anointed everywhere you go. Be kept and have a wonderful day and a wonderful week and a wonderful month. See you again tomorrow with the people you have invited, your friends and your brothers. Invite everybody and let us come and pray. God bless you. We love you so much. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. If you are not born again, you want to give your heart to the Lord and say, Lord Jesus, I believe today. With all my heart, you are the son of God. I invite you into this life. Live your life with me. Make me a new creature. Sp let your spirit fill this vessel and use me for your glory. I confess you as Lord and Savior. My sins are forgiven. I'm a new creature in Jesus' precious name. And remain blessed. We love you. See you tomorrow again and again. God bless you. Love you. Thank you. God bless you. Of the living God. We have come to God, the judge of all. We have come to the spirit of this man be made perfect. And we have come to an innumerable company of angels. And to the church of the firstborn, we have, we have come to the city of the living God. We have come to God, the judge of all. We have come to the spirit of this man be made perfect. And we have come to an innumerable company of angels. And to the church of the firstborn, we have, we have come to the city of the living God. 
we have come to God, the judge of all. We have come to the spirit of this man being made perfect. And we have come to an innumerable company 